with the Model X and tow hitches comes a completely new problem. And I suppose also the Model S with the aftermarket ether, uh, eco hitches. And that problem is superchargers so far have really just not been set up or designed for pull through or trailer parking. As such, many locations, and if not most, at least in North America, um, you will need to disconnect your trailer. Well, if you're on a cross-country haul, this might get a little tiresome, and it does take a bit of time, especially if you have to crank and crank and crank and crank and crank and crank, lower it down, and then once you're done, then you gotta crank and crank and crank and crank, raise it back up. Well, I got a little quick solution here, and we're going to zoom in right here real carefully. My solution was a powered crank. Well, you can either purchase the entire crank setups, so the whole the whole crank's pre-made as powered, or you can just take your existing crank and for about 50 cents, make it powered. What I did is I took a 15 cent junk Harbor Freight socket, cut it in half, because on mine I had a little problem with clearance on of the actual handle. And what I did is I took my existing cordless drill and I got a socket attachment on it. Put it there. Now unfortunately I, I, I did take it off a few times. For some reason the little post down here is bent just ever so slightly so I already had a U-joint connection and there we go much better or if I want to kick it into high gear when uh, trail is empty. And there we go. I just saved about four minutes disconnection and four minutes reconnection of time at each supercharger stop. Now, normally it's no big deal. However, when you're going cross country and you got 20 stops, this is a time saver. And holy crap, did I wish I would have had that last year when I did my cross country to Oregon. Now, you can use any drill. This is pretty much one of the smallest drills you're going to get on the market. It's a 12 volt uh, lithium. You could probably do this 100 times and st still have power left over. Uh, if you had to get a U joint one connection, I mean, you can pick this up for about $3 at Sears or Harbor Freight. Uh, or cheaper even then if you look around and uh, the socket was about 15 cents and just kind of tack welded it on there. I mean there's other ways of doing it but just one of K-Man's little life hacks for traveling electric.